So I finished the um, right vent and I cut the yarn and just added the live stitches um, to the live stitches of the hem along this side. And now I'm going to be reattaching it to work the left vent, um, which I'll be working in exactly the same way as I've just worked the right one. So the first one is a knit. So I'm just going to be, again, just knitting the knit stitches and slipping the purl stitches purlwise with the yarn in front and joining all the um, vertical picked up stitches to the horizontal live stitches. Okay, so now I've joined um, the left side of the left vent as well. And it's important that you do work these in the same order as I do. So always work the right vent um, before working the left vent. And that's so that you can um, minimize the number of loose ends that you're going to have to weave in at the end. So as you can see, I've just finished. The last row that you work will always have to be the wrong side row to make sure that you have the same number of rows on the front as you do on the back. Um, and what I'm going to do now are two things. First of all, I'm going to put all of the stitches onto the same needle. So this will be the same for both sides of the vent um, and obviously for the front and the back as the front mirrors the back. So that's the first thing. So now we have everything on one needle and you can see here there is a little bit of a gap um, where we've joined the, um, the vent to the body of the jumper. Uh, and I did promise you that we could make this nice and flush by pulling in the, um, the string at the end. So all you need to do is find that scrap piece of yarn that you used to, pull up, uh, to pick up the stitches. And all we do is we're going to just we just pull that up and you can see how that's already tightening and all those little white lines that you can see are going to disappear. Make sure that you hold the um, other side of the yarn down so that you don't pull it out. Um, and there we go. So now we have everything on one and that's nice and flush. So the last thing that we will need to do obviously now is to um, cast off the body of the jumper. Mine is just the sample, so I've only got the beginning of it, but that doesn't matter because you just, um, you work it as if it were all one. So the first thing that we'll be doing is just picking up the needle and you will be doing the setup row for a tubular cast off, which as you know, is the same as double knitting. So the first nine stitches, we actually work um, in exactly the same as we have been working them up until now. That's to say we're knitting the knit stitches and slipping the purl stitches purl wise with the yarn in front. So we'll do that across the first um, nine stitches. So I'm going to actually say eight stitches because there's something that you'll need to do with the ninth stitch. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and sorry it is nine stitches okay S sorry eight stitches here we go so you will see that when you come to join the vent to the body you have two stitches that look to be presenting purl wise in actual fact this is a knit stitch that has been twisted where you have picked up the stitches along that side so in order just to keep the pattern um, what we're going to do is we're going to be working these two stitches together. Um, however, we're going to be doing a slip slip knit again, just to make sure that this, the right stitch lies on top of that left stitch. So now we can just continue with our established stitch pattern, um, working obviously in double knit along the hem as well to make sure that we complete that tubular bind off setup row. So we'll just knit, knit stitches and slip the purl stitches. And when we get to the other side, so you will actually get to the other vent, you'll get to the right vent, but you work that in exactly the same way as you have just worked the, um, 
right vent. And then you will turn that around. And do exactly the same on the other side. So obviously knit the knit stitches and slip the purl stitches with the yarn in front on the way back as well. Then you cut your long yarn tail and complete the tubular bind off.